Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome to today's building video where I will be reviewing the models that came with issue 16 of the Mortal Realms magazine. Now this issue we got, I think it was three castigators, let me have a quick look here. Three sequiturs and two castigators. Now we are, we should be familiar with these models by now because we had got these before. These are more like reinforcements for them. So the first thing first is there was a very small little issue. Um, First of all, log clipped off very easily and they cleaned up. It's very nice to get used to doing or to change to bulky models instead of doing so much night haunt because they're bulky and they're easier to do, they're not as flimsy. But in the issue it says take off uh, clip off number 16 or number 13, which is the back part. Now that was wrong and I was there fidgeting for about 20 minutes trying to figure out and I was like what? And then I looked at the, the instructions again and it was the wrong piece that misprinted it. I don't even know why that part is there. That 13 shouldn't even be there. It shouldn't, it's not that it should be a different number. It, there's no need for it to be there. So with that out of the way, the rest of, it, of the models went together pretty easily. Now this is one of the sequiturs. Um, the only kind of little tricky part you'd have is his right arm trying to, you see it here, it's a little bit fidgety trying to get it in. But once it's in, it's kind of pretty solid and then you try and get the head in. Just make sure they're perfectly aligned for when you're fitting in the front part of the body then as well. Cause then it'll just, you know, squish together that little glue will uh, hold it in there then properly. And unfortunately we have the same problem here that we get with a lot of the Stormcast here. The, the gap goes right between the shoulder pads. Always, nearly always seems to be the right shoulder pad which is a bit of a disappointment. So there was a little bit of a gap between the top and the bottom. So I used my uh, gripper things to hold it into place until the glue dried um, and then that sorted itself out. Now the best thing about these models is it comes with the, the pin holes to put the models in. So you don't have to glue them onto the base. You don't have to get your super glue out for these uh, to hold them onto the base. Just put them into little holes, which is so handy when you're putting them together, even painting. Just pull them out when you need to do it. So apart from the mix up in the instructions, it went together pretty easy. Now we go on to the castigators and um, these were even easier again. I think it's only his left arm is a little bit trying to tricky to put in, but it slots in pretty easily and um, just glue all the right edges. And here I think it's both his shoulder pads has the gap going in between it, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, and then once they go in, there's like a big gap across their belly for the ball, for the boat, uh, uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head but the ball fits in there you see that big gap right there now and it just fits in there and it lines up perfectly with the two arms to hold it up or the two hands and then slot it into the base as well and that was it these are pretty handy to make you know it's a lot it's a big difference from going from the night haunt as part of this magazine to go to these because they're much bulkier they're thicker and you'd enjoy putting these together a little bit more because they're just they're, you don't have to be as careful um, without, without bending parts and you know breaking parts off like you do with the night hunt ones so these ones are pretty nice i like the models they're looking good the poses are pretty decent even though that right arm there looks like his whole name was a bit wonky but overall i like them uh the, the castigators i really like the pose up like that is really good i really like to have one where it's like eye level but the ones that we have here are really nice i don't mind them um, but overall i enjoy putting these together they were pretty simple get over that first one with the misprint um, I'm not sure if that's just in, in with the magazine or if it's part of the box that you buy um, But you'll spot it pretty, pretty easily because I think the, the, the part that number 13 is a front part So you'll end up with two front parts anyway So you'll spot it eventually But anyway, I really like these models It was a good issue to get these reinforced models Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below Check out the link below to get these models for yourself And uh, once again, thanks for watching And I will see you guys in the next video